Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Komodo Joe Cooking Channel. Today we're going to fire up our classic and we're going to make a salt crusted chicken. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is make a brine for this chicken. And I've got four cups of cold water here to start with. I'm going to add two and a half cups of whole buttermilk, one half of a cup of brown sugar, and I'm going to add about ten sprigs a fresh thyme and about four bay leaves and I'm just going to stir that until that sugar is completely dissolved. Okay I've got about a four and a half pound chicken here that I've uh, rinsed and we're going to put that down in our briner bucket and I'm just going to stuff that down in there and then we're going to dump our marinade slash brine or whatever you want to call this right in on top of that and then I'm going to put the Briner bucket plate down in here. If you don't have one of these Briner buckets, you can do this in a Ziploc bag. And we're just going to put that in the refrigerator. And you're going to want to let that marinate for at least four hours or up to overnight. So we're going to put this in my fridge overnight and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we're going to fire up the Classic. I've got a fire going in the center of the firebox here on the Classic. And I'm going to set my Divide and Conquer flexible cooking rack in place here and I'm going to have the heat deflectors in the low position and the grill up high and we're going to let this grill come up to about 350 degrees. I'm going to start out with the bottom vent about halfway open and I'm going to close the top vent to about halfway and as the temperature comes up I'm going to close it a little more to slow it down and like I said we're going to stabilize here at about 350 degrees. Okay I've taken my chicken out of the brine. I didn't rinse it or anything but I've put it in a 12 inch cast iron skillet and it'd probably fit in a 10. This is about a four and a half pound chicken. Uh, if you can get a smaller one that would work actually better. And in this mixing bowl here I have one box of rock salt. It's your uh, garden variety ice cream salt and to that I'm gonna add six egg whites and I'm just gonna get in there with my hand and we're going to mix that up and get that egg white combined with that salt. Now that I've got that salt and egg white mixed, I have made a barbecue sauce here that I'm going to give you the recipe for in the video description. This is kind of a sweet, hot barbecue sauce, Asian style, that I made with some of the gochujang. So we're going to put that on this chicken. And I'm just going to get on here and rub that on here with my hands. We're going to get this chicken completely covered on all sides with this sauce. And after we get that on there, the first thing I'm going to do is rinse my hands. Now I'm going to take that salt and we're just going to dump that salt in on top of this chicken. And I'm going to get in here with my hands and we're going to pack that on there to where that chicken is entirely covered in this salt. And then when we get that covered, we're ready to go to the grill. Okay, our grill's up to temp, so I'm going to open this up. We're going to set this chicken right here in the middle, and we're going to let this cook for somewhere between an hour and 15 minutes and an hour and a half, and we'll be back to have a look at it. Okay, we've been going about an hour and a half here, and this guy's ready, so I'm going to take it off. We're going to take it inside and let it cool for about 15 minutes. Okay, I've let this guy cool a little bit, and I've taken a fork and started to break this salt away. So I'm going to get the rest of the salt broken away here. So the object of the game here is just to break all this out of this salt and then you'll break this chicken down and serve it just like you would any other chicken. And I'm going to get a piece off of here and we're going to have a taste. Okay, so we're going to have a little bite off of one of these drumsticks. Mm. Guys, that's delicious has a beautiful salt flavor obviously and it's not overpowering like you might think. Um, one of the things I might have liked a little differently here is to get a little bit better color on that and I'll have to work on that next time around. I didn't like the color so much but that's because of my sauce. It just didn't hold up as well so give this a try. Let me know what you think. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Joe. Follow us on Twitter at Joe. and until next time I'm John Setzler with Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. 